I think for the main challenge is seen from a patient perspective is some of all this uh, stigmatization we have around patients. I think it's uh, unfair to the patients that it's conceived uh, worse to be uh, suffering from brain health compared to any other kind of, uh, uh, of disorders in the body. So that's a, a major challenge. Uh, then it's also a challenge that the brain is, uh, is complex. It's uh, difficult to really figure out how the brain works and thereby also how we should treat brain disorders. But at the same time, that's also a, a great opportunity we are starting with the help of uh, artificial intelligence and very sophisticated techni technologies of how we access the brain to really see light at the end of the tunnel and come up with some uh, treatment opportunities that we have never been close to have before. So that's a great opportunity. Uh, it's also an opportunity if we, we have a very good and uh, competitive environment from a scientific perspective in Europe right now. And it's an opportunity and an almost an, a, a need that we really keep that uh, competitive environment. We should of course secure that we have uh, access of uh, our innovative medicine to all members of, uh, of European uh, uh, countries, but it's also important to realize that we have to secure that there's always a balance between where you get the right, uh, you can say, conditions, logistic conditions for conducting your research and also for having your intellectual property protections compared to what you can get in other parts of the world. So I think it's very important and an opportunity that we actually keep an, a competitive environment within Europe for brain research.